why a four level laser can be more efficient than a three level laser. Before we describe the difference between three and four level lasers, we must first talk about how lasing is achieved. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. A laser can be defined as an optical device that produces an intense monochromatic beam of coherent light. Energy is pumped either optically or electrically through an active medium such as a ruby rod. In there, incident photons collide with atoms. The collision will cause the atom to be excited to a higher energy level state. Then, if the atom is stimulated by another incident photon, the atom can relax to the ground state and release a photon. This is called stimulated emission. The released photon will have the same phase and direction as the incident photon. The released photon travels towards an end of the active medium, which lies in a vacuum. The photon is reflected off mirrors at either end of the medium, causing amplification of the photons as they travel back and forth, as more collisions occur, producing more photons. Eventually, the photons will travel out through one end of the medium, where the mirror will be less reflective. This output can be focused into a laser beam. We also need to understand the difference between radiative and non-radiative transitions. When an atom comes down from its excited state, different things can occur. In non-radiative transition, the atom goes from a higher energy level to a lower one, often a metastable state where the atom can remain for a while, but does not emit an optical photon when it does so. These transitions occur spontaneously and do not need stimulation to occur. The excess energy is usually dissipated as phonons. A phonon is a quantum of vibrational energy. In radiative transitions, an incoming photon stimulates the transition of the atom to a lower energy state than the one it's in. Thereby, a photon is produced via stimulated emission as the atom loses energy in the form of this photon to join the incident photon. Population inversion and why we can't use two-level lasers. For emission to occur, more photons have to be emitted than attenuated in the medium, which means rate of stimulated emission must be greater than the rate of absorption. To allow more emission to occur, we create a population inversion to increase the number of atoms in the excited state compared to the ground state. We can't achieve this under conditions of thermal equilibrium, though, because Boltzmann statistics means that there will be more atoms in a non-excited state than in an excited state. We can't use a two-level laser because at best the populations at the ground state and higher state will be equal. Therefore, lasers need to be made with three or more levels. In a three-level laser, the pumping, energy, the pumping of energy into the medium causes atoms to be excited to a highly excited energy state. Then, fast, non-radiative transition occurs at a metastable state. As this happens quickly, atoms accumulate in the metastable state, creating a population inversion. When stimulated, a radiative transition occurs and photons are emitted, and light is amplified. But as this transition is slower than the one to the metastable state, the population inversion is maintained. Four-level lasers. But this process can be made even more efficient in four-level lasers. In a three-level laser, at least 50% of the atoms must be in the highly excited state to be able to create a population inversion, and this means that there needs to be a high amount of energy pumping to achieve this. In a four-level laser, the atom is excited to the highly excited energy level state, and then undergoes fast non-radiative transition to a metastable state, as in the three-level laser. Here again, the atoms can accumulate. Before transition down into a lower energy state by radiative transition, but not to the ground state, as in three-level lasers. From this level, there is fast non-radiative transition to the ground state, but by the addition of the extra level, this means that a population inversion is more easily created, as the lower is emptied quickly, therefore the population inversion is created. 
but as less atoms are in the ground state at any time than in the three-level laser, less energy is needed to pump enough atoms to the higher energy state to maintain the population inversion. In conclusion, three-level and four-level lasers both work by the same scientific principles that the transition of atoms from a higher energy level to a lower one, when stimulated, can produce optical photons which can then be amplified to produce a laser beam. However, whilst three-level lasers can be used, in practice four-level lasers are more often used due to the lower pumping energy requirements needed to create and maintain the population inversion within the active medium. This means that the energy costs for the operation of the laser can be reduced. It should also be noted that in both cases the pumping transition will have a higher energy than the lasing transition, meaning the pumping photon wavelength will be shorter than that of the lasing transition photons.